Boss, we've got a problem with Super Gemma Star. Super Gemma Star is going to make us gazillions. We cannot have a problem with Super Gemma Star. Well, you remember that Super Gemma Star was working brilliantly, progression-free survival was great, and regulatory only wanted evidence for progression-free survival. Yes. So, after patients in the control group had progressed, we let them switch on to Super Gemma Star. Yes. Well, NICE need an economic evaluation, and they want us to model overall survival. Our hazard ratio for overall survival is not good, because of the treatment switching. The incremental cost-effectiveness ratio is bad. The economics. It's always the economics. Who are the ERG? Sheffield. Give me solutions. Well, we can try some adjustment methods. Naive methods like censoring or excluding patients who switched are no good. Selection bias means they're unreliable. We can try the rank preserving structural failure time model. Or inverse probability of censoring weights. The what? RPSFTM or IPCW. They're complex statistical techniques that can be used to adjust survival estimates in the presence of switching. They work in different ways and have different assumptions. There's no guarantee that they'll give accurate results, but they might help. Do them. We need to save Super Gemma Star. Report back to me. Ah, Susan. Great to see you. How are you getting on with the RPSTCW and the IPTM? The RPSFTM and the IPCW? That's what I said. I've got some results. You'll have my report this afternoon. Excellent. Good work, Susan. Megadrug is relying on you. The patients, too, right? What? Oh, yes. Of course. For the good of the patients you need to help us show the true effectiveness of Super Gemma Star. Susan, I've read your report. I love the IPCW. A hazard ratio of 0.4 is beyond our wildest dreams. Eat that, Sheffield. Even Paul Tap and Den won't be able to say we're not cost effective now. What about the RPSFTM? Its hazard ratio isn't as low, but... No, I love the IPCW. Boss, I really think we should think carefully about relying upon the IPCW for Super Gemma Star. In the trial we didn't collect much data on prognostic covariates over time, something the IPCW is reliant on. And the proportion of control group patients that switched on to Super Gemma Star was really high. When we ran the IPCW some of the weights we got were huge, the results are really unstable. Also, in our trial the control group was just standard care, there are no other active treatments available. And we did a two-stage analysis that suggests that the treatment effect in switchers was similar to that in patients initially randomized to Super Gemma Star. That fits in with the assumptions of the RPSFTM perfectly. Susan, no. In this situation the IPCW is best. It's a published, complex treatment switching adjustment method. It gives a great cost-effectiveness ratio. I pick the IPCW. So, as you can see, the evidence review group has strongly disagreed with our decision to rely on the IPCW to adjust for the treatment switching. They think that using the RPSFTM or two-stage method would have been better, given the characteristics of our trial. Susan. Thank you. My only question is how we got ourselves in into this mess. Who decided that we should use the IPCW? Um... Henry, have you got something to say? Well, 
Um, the IPCW gave such a great hazard ratio. I thought we were going to make gazillions. And we'd have gotten away with it if it wasn't for those meddling nitpickers of Sheffield. Henry. You're fired.